This video is going to go over the basic lab uh, procedure for doing the Snell's Law activity. And I've got a laser level right here. I've got a protractor. You'll be using a pencil, not a pen. I'm using a fat Sharpie marker so you'll be able to see the lines from this distance in the video. And then you have a piece of plate glass, all that on top of a piece of paper. To begin with, I'm going to put the glass on the paper and I'm going to draw an outline of my little piece of glass. So here's an outline going all the way around it. And held it in place. Now I'll slide it. Be careful. Some of these pieces of glass have little chips on them. I don't want you to cut yourself on it. So I'm all set up there. Now I want to draw a normal line. So I'll pick a spot on the glass on the front surface, make a little mark, slide the protractor over right there at the hole so where I'll put the mark. And then I'll line it up so it's 0 to 180. Up here at 90 degrees, I'll put another little dot. Connect the two dots, and that's going to give me a line that's going to be normal to that surface. So here we go. Nice long line, both sides of it, so that's normal to the surface. This is going to become the boundary line. So what I'll do is take my laser level, there's a little switch on the back of it, I'll slide it up and it'll turn on, you'll see it glow at the top. Hopefully this all shows up on this low light that I'm using. And I'll put it over here, and that's going to be my incident beam coming right there, right there at that intersection between the normal line and the boundary. And I'll take my piece of glass and I'll put it back into place right here. So I'll line it up, even with my outline. Now I've got two light rays. I've got one light ray here. This is going on top of the glass. In fact, I could even block it. So that's just going on top of the glass right there. And then I've got another light ray over here. And that's where the refracted ray is exiting the glass. So it bends in the glass and then it comes out up here. And that's what I'm interested in over there. So I need to be able to draw my instant ray and my refracted ray. I know that's right at the intersection between the normal line and the boundary. I'll put a dot right here. That's going to become my instant ray when I draw it. Then I'll put another dot right here. Now this is really faint, might be hard to see on this video, but there's a little red line that appears right over here. I should say right here is a little red line. That's the one I'm after, not this one, not that long bright one that looks so nice. I'm after this one because that long bright one's on top of the glass. That's the one that's going through the glass. So I've got my lines all set up. I'll move my piece of glass. Again, be careful the chipped edges, if there are any. I'll take my laser level, push it off to the side, and turn it off so it doesn't go in anyone's eyes. Then I'll take the protractor and make my marks. So this is going to be the incident light ray coming in here. So that's the beam that's coming into the glass. And right here, this will be the refracted light ray. So that's where the refracted light ray left the glass. So it goes from this boundary along this line to where it leaves the glass. Right there. This becomes the instant light ray. And over here, this angle is going to become the refracted light ray. This is the glass and air.